Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Top back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing an Amethyst Limited Reward Morris Peterson gameplay. So you might be wondering, how do you get Mo Pete? Well, you do have to play my team Limited until he shows up and until you can get him, which I've played six Limited games and haven't seen him on my account. So shout out to my guy, Tyler Hero on PlayStation for letting me hop on his account to let me do this gameplay. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash the subscribe button as we're in the road to 40,000 subscribers. Looking at MOP here, small forward shooting guard, 6'7, 93 ball, 75 driving duck, 86 ball handle, 79 steel, 84 premier defense, 84 speed, as well as that 85 lateral quickness. So, pretty mediocre defensive stats. Comes with an 85 driving dunk tendency. Defensive tendencies are absolutely incredible. 88 contest shot, 78 almost steel tendency, as well as that 84 pass interception tendency. Now, the one thing about MOP that I wish was a little better, so I just miss, wish he had more total badges. He has the Hall of Fame Tyler Shooter, Gold Catch and Shoot Corner Specialist blinders on current gen that is steady shooter hot zone hunter slippery off, off ball volume shooter as well as you guys can see there is no range extender is no deep threes or clamps on this card so got to know that going into it obviously he can get quick first step can get clamps but he doesn't come with clamps or range extender which makes a pretty big difference looking at morris peterson here the first thing i'm going to look at are his hot spots which he does have four out of five around the arc which is super super nice dribble sigs are not good in the full court they're just not good in the half court either and so that's the first thing i'm going to tell you guys is his dribble sigs just aren't really it release wise we'll see here we'll see when i take a few more shots okay i i feel like i like his release I've only taken a couple shots with him, but I feel like his release is absolutely butter, and it is. Now, I feel like I like lefty releases more than righty releases for whatever reason. I don't know why that is, but as you guys can see, Morris Peterson is green six threes in a row, I think, and it's just everything is butter. That one I obviously missed, but everything you shoot with him, is it's a very smooth stroke. It's quicker than most releases. A lot of, a lot of times on next gen, I feel like I got to hold it down longer than I should. With Morris Peterson, it's quicker than, than it should be, I feel like, which I rather have it quick than a super long release in my opinion now let's see what his drifter is like and stuff like that uh because if, if you can green drifters with a guy like mo pete with blinders it is going to be very tough to stop he doesn't have range extender clamps and and some key badges quick first step either so that definitely hurts the card but attacking the rim he should be decent as well as being a knockdown shooter looking at mo pete on current gen we'll see what type of dribble six and everything he's working with and again not great dribble six at all Obviously, he's going to be able to burst, peekaboo, everything like that. His release feels smooth on current gen 2. Like that one, I don't know how it wasn't green. Maybe it's because it was just a little deep. But again, another another Morris Peterson, another release that just is very, very fluid. Current gen, next gen, it doesn't matter. He is absolutely green. And so that's something to know. His release, I'm telling you right now, current gen, next gen, it doesn't matter. I don't know if I green with the card more than Morris Peterson. Like most cards I'm inconsistent with come when I come back to current gen but Morris Peterson is just different. Current gen, next gen, it doesn't matter. His release is very, very quick, very easy to time, and very green. So that's something definitely to like about Morris Peterson. Obviously, his dribble sticks aren't going to be great. And it is going to be tough to move and groove with him. But with the burst, with everything, with his release, he should be able to create his own shot on current gen uh, and next gen both. Now, I don't think Morris Peterson is going to be the type of guy that I want to run my offense through or anything like that. But at the same time, I feel like he can be that perfect cone type of player at that shooting guard position. As I missed my first shot of the game. I got to be able to green that consistently. This guy's got an awful lineup. I see Sapphire, Zion, Williamson out here. I honestly feel kind of bad for this, this guy that I'm playing. But at the end of the day, matchmaking is... I feel like it's broken on next gen. I feel like it's a lot easier on next gen compared to current gen. Like a lot, You'll get a lot sweeter matchups if you have a good team. Morris Peterson, first shot of the game coming off the screen. For a nice green light move your feet morris and that's the that's the problem with morris peterson no clamps he's not super quick on the defense man it's not like he's super slow he's just not quick and that's that's going to be a problem for morris peterson just defending at a high level i feel like is the one downside to mo Pete. there's no way you just let like what kind of defense are you playing i'm a little bit confused right now he just ran at my body he just ran out my body again. Up to Morris Peterson. Set those feet. <laughs> you better come guard him next time because he's not missing with that release. Come here. Like, why am I getting so, like, I'm getting so much defensive attention for a Morris Peterson card who's literally Another a free one. card. This guy I'm playing could go get Mo Peterson and it would help his lineup out because he has one of the cleanest strokes in the game. 
I wonder how close he's getting to takeover and what his takeover is. Because he's been doing his thing so far in this game. Set your feet again. Another fire. Everything is green with Morris Peterson. He has sharp takeover. Now he's got Ben Simmons into the game. This guy is just, he, I, I just, I'm confused at his lineup. Like, he's probably just started playing the game, whatever. But even if you've just started playing the game, watch me or DBG's videos. And you know that these guys that he's playing with should not be on the court. Okay, why am I getting boxed right now? Chill. It took me all possession to get a straight arm. I get I dribbled all possession, but why am I getting a straight arm? Come on, green one for me, Mo, please. Don't jump. Green, thank you. You can't leave him space. I promise you with blinders, if you leave him any sort of space, it's going to be green nearly every single time. Another great shot from Mo. You get through it. Thank you. Good defense, Morris. Run. Get it up to him. You just can't leave him. I don't know what it is about his green window, but Morris Peterson greens more than any other card I have used in the history of 2K. I think everybody in their arena knows who's getting the ball. But the only thing that matters is whether he can stop it or not. In short answer, oh, I missed. Thank you, Mo. Finally, I get a white. The one shot I didn't green slightly early, I see it. But I got to be able to green that one. That's really my fault, Morris. Come here. Don't hit the screen. Good decision. I should have let it fly. Ah, that's me, man. He was tired. It got in my head, and I just held it down a little bit too long. That's really my fault. Mo Pete with a, with a pluck. Get it over to him. Knock down Morris Peterson. Another green light. He has 25 points in the first quarter of the game. Oh, is he pausing out the game? All right, before you pause out the game, let me let me, let me me knock down a three with Blake quick. So let, I'm selling releases. Thank you, Blake. He's got one pause left. I'm sorry, man. You just got to go ahead and do your thing. We saw how great Mo Pete was in Unlimited. Let's see if he can do that in Triple Threat Online. Matchmaking on next gen is so so broken. This guy's name's 2410. That used to be that used to be like my Twitter name, like B Ball 2410 used to be my Twitter name. Anyways, this guy I, I it brought back some flashbacks, but it just doesn't matter. Hold up, come here. Oh yeah, just make him work. Work him out, Mo. You better listen. Blinders is an important badge. You better you better not let Mo Pete get a look finally. I don't know why I'm whiting, but at least 2K is allowing me to knock down the whites that I need. Good hand. Oh yeah, Mo, work him out on defense. I know you don't got clamps. Work him out, but just look at it. Like he's got Westbrook, this LeBron. Like the thing is, I feel like a lot of people just bought the game for next gen specifically. And so a lot of people are using these base cards. And so that I just, I hope eventually that they can watch a video, like just to buy their budget players, get their team uh, just going a little bit compared to what it is right now like this guy does this guy not under chill why am i why why is he stepping up that crazy on mo i get mo pete is incredible i understand it and yes you do have to step up but i'm just trying to let it fly with big mo he shot that what am i seeing up to mo you guys know what time it is snatch for me hey hey look at mo it's over with it's over with i got a green back to him this one's green I don't miss on the catch and shoot with Morris Peterson. His release is so smooth. The green window is so crazy. I just got to be consistent. You shot that. Yikes. Run, Mo. Stop on the break. Nobody picks him up, and I promise you, he has hot spots from everywhere. You're going to regret it every single time you leave him open. Like, why is he... He, yo, I missed. He got like a weird animation there in which his legs spread out though. And that's something on next gen. Sometimes you get weird animation shooting the ball. Like it's different. It's weird. But that's just something to get used to. Like obviously I don't play next gen enough. But it's obvious. You get weird animation sometimes when you're going to shoot the ball. But when he gets his normal animation like that, it's green almost at least three-fourths of the time I'm going to green it off the dribble. Off the catch and shoot, it's even higher than that. You mow the ball. That might be too deep. You don't even got range. Greamy. It doesn't matter, though. Blinders on. I don't know what it's on, but he, I know for a fact he has it. He is absolutely ridiculous. And we all know what's happening on this possession. 
I don't think there was ever a doubt. For Jewel, for me, what was happening on this possession? Morris Peterson, we're going to take a drifter. See what's that like? That's a green too. Looking at the final box score, Mo Pete ended with all 21 my points with 7 of 10 from 3. And I'm pretty sure every one of those 7 shots were green. Guys, I'm not going to sit here and lie. As far as releases that I green with, Morris Peterson might be at the top of the list. I don't know if I've ever greened with a card more than I green with this Morris Peterson. And I've had, I, I was, I was having a lot of fun playing with him. I get he doesn't have everything. Like if you look at the badges, I get he has some of it, but he doesn't have everything you need. Like he has volume shooter, hot zone, hunter, green machine, uh, stop and pop. Like he's got some good badges. I understand it. Blinders, catch and shoot corner specialist. No range extender. Doesn't come with clamps. And the thing is on next gen, you can definitely still get by running Morris Peterson. One of the top, you know, free cards in the game as far as easy guys to get. If you play limited, get lucky enough to get Morris Peterson. Trust me, on next gen specifically, you can definitely run this card. Comment down below. How do you guys think of Morris Peterson? Are you greening with him as much as me? Let me know, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.